My husband, like I said, always goes above and beyond. Um, our daughter has ulcerative colitis. Um, you made me cry. <laughs> Um, so he has pretty much stayed in the military for her. Uh, you know, after 9-11, you know, um, you had all the people coming back from the initial push and you hear about all the people that got hurt over there and I kind of wanted to go over there and make a difference. Uh, you know, I wanted to go over there and kind of help bring people back alive. It's a great opportunity, so it's the least we can do for these guys that serve us. So it's, it's a wonderful opportunity, and I'd do it again in a heartbeat. And I'm very humbled. Uh, it, it tremendously means a lot for y'all to be here, and for everything the uh, El Cazador did for me, you guys made my year. Tell me thank you. Thank you. Let's get your baby. He's getting ready to retire, and uh, it's going to be a huge stepping stone for us. Um, he spent 25 years in the military. I think that's a tremendous um, um, extension of gratitude to the service members in this area. And he really did deserve to be out there. And he caught his very first biggest fish. It's the first time he'd ever been offshore, so that was, a, that was a blessing in my heart. You couldn't put a price on that. Not a bit. It's between Mr. Mark here, I just, you couldn't. Today was great. We could give back just a little bit. It would mean so much to Brian. I think it did. It's just a natural thing to do. We have to give back to those who give to us. Come on. That was an amazing day. I just want to thank Mr. Gold for this whole thing. My uh, pleasure. It was great. He had said, well, I'm not a hero. You know, let somebody else do it. I thought he was really deserving because he does work hard. He gives 100% to everything he does. I feel a little bad saying this, but when I was out there, I didn't think about anything except for being out there. And that was probably the first time in 14 years that that's happened to me. So. It was awesome.